Hello students, I'm Shilpa and today I'm going to teach you biological classification which is very important chapter in biology. Maybe you have seen so many videos but in this video I'm going to teach you in such a way that you don't need to look in any other book or video. This is the way I used to study when I was in school. It will help you to remember everything very very quickly. First of all, we will study why we need classification, what is the difference between two kingdom and five kingdom classification and if I ask you what is living, then you will generally relate it to growth, reproduction, metabolism and response to stimuli. Biological classification are of two types, two kingdom classification which was given by linear in planty and animalia and five kingdom classification which was given by R.H. Whitaker in 1959. Why we need five kingdom classification? Two kingdom classification was not sufficient because there were so many things like prokaryotes and eukaryotes which were grouped together but there, there should be some difference. Heterotrophs and autotrophs were grouped together but there should also be some difference. No difference between unicellular and multicellular and simple organism were placed along with higher organism. So what is the criteria for five kingdom classification? There are several criteria like complexity of cell structure, whether it is prokaryote and eukaryote, body organization whether it is unicellular or it is multicellular, mode of nutrition, autotrophic or heterotrophic or holozoic lifestyle whether it is producers, consumers and decomposers. Now you can clearly, it is clearly visible, there are five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Plantae and Animalia is clearly visible, like in Plantae we include plants and Animalia several animals are included in this kingdom. Fungi we include fungus. In protista we generally include diagnophagellates, protozoans, algae. In prokaryotes we include bacteria, monera. Now you can see in monera we include bacteria whether it is cocci, spiral or coma shaped bacteria. They are different shapes of bacteria, different. Uh, and one more protista. In protista we include algae, protozoans, protozoans in protozoans we generally consider amoeba. Kingdom fungi we include mushrooms, yeast, molds. In plants we include uh, small plants, trees. In animals we include insects, squid, animals, earthworm and sponges. What is five kingdom classification? Now you can clearly check in prokaryotes we generally include monera means there are two types of class, uh, criteria prokaryotes and eukaryotes monera we generally include in prokaryotes and in eukaryotes there are two types of uh, cell structure unicellular and multicellular in unicellular we include protista while in multicellular we include fungi plantae and animalia while in multicellular with cell wall we include fungi and plantae but animalia are without cell wall okay so if i ask you which one is only prokaryotic kingdom then you will generally say it is monera yeah this is correct only prokaryotic is monera and in eukaryotes we include protista, fungi, plantae and animalia. Protista are generally unicellular and multicellular but they are generally unicellular. Multicellular with cell wall, fungi and plantae and without cell wall, animalia. Monera are divided into two classes, eubacteria and archibacteria. Archibacteria and eubacteria both are unicellular. 
and prokaryotic. Protista are eukaryotic, unicellular and multicellular. So if someone asks you which one is prokaryotic and unicellular, then you will say it is monera. But if he asks you, he asks what is unicellular, multicellular, eukaryotic kingdom, then you have to say it is protista. Plantae, animalia and fungi all are multicellular, eukaryotic. But in fungi, there is one example which is unicellular, eukaryotic, that is yeast. Again, I'm going to repeat this. Unicellular prokaryotic are only monera, which includes bacteria. Eukaryotic, unicellular and multicellular are protista. Planty, animalia and fungi all are multicellular eukaryotic. Only one example of fungi that is yeast is unicellular eukaryotic. Okay, now in this slide, I have again properly describe everything. You can see cell type U bacteria uh, that is monera, U bacteria and Archie bacteria which are two types of uh, monera kingdom. Prokaryotic, prokaryotic, yes. Protista are eukaryotic, fungi are eukaryotic, planty is eukaryotic, animals are eukaryotic. Cell structure, cell walls with peptidoglycan, cell walls without peptidoglycan, cell walls of cellulose and some chloroplasts. In fungi, cell walls fed up of chitin, cell walls of cellulose, no cell wall. In animals, there is no cell wall. Member of cell, unicellular, unicellular. Protista are mostly unicellular, but some are multicellular. Mostly multicellular in fungi, but some are unicellular. So you can say only unicellular are monera and all are unicellular and multicellular but planty and animalia are purely multicellular so you can see unicellular plus multicellular combination is protista and fungi mode of nutrition they are autotroph or heterotroph means they are completely dependent on them also and on others also autotroph and heterotrophs fungi are only heterotroph means they are completely dependent on others for nutrition and planty are autotroph by photosynthesis and animalia are heterotrophs. Example, any bacteria, you can give any examples of bacteria. In protista, we include amoeba, paramecium, slime molds. In fungi, mushroom, yeast, planty, you know, and animalia, you know. What is, there is again one more slide, just just to clear everything, whatever you have studied, maybe, maybe you have, now it is very clear, I think. Prokaryotic, eukaryotic, eukaryotic, eukaryotic and eukaryotic, which is very clear that Monera is prokaryotic. Cell organization, mostly unicellular, mostly unicellular, multicellular and unicellular, multicellular. Cell wall, yes, Monera, in Monera, cell wall is present, we know. Present in some, absent in others. Present, present, present. Oh, sorry. In any million, cell wall is absent. These are phototrophic, heterotrophic, or chemoautotrophic, heterotrophic, and photo. The but fungi and animalia both are heterotrophic. Kingdom Monera. In Kingdom Monera, there are two classes: Archibacteria and Eubacteria. Archibacteria mainly they are found in harsh habitats. Halophile, saline, thermoacidophils, hot spring places, methanogens, while eubacteria are true bacteria. They have rigid cell wall and motile flagellum. Eubacteria includes cyanobacteria, chemosynthetic, and heterotrophic. And there is one more example mycoplasma. Autotrophic bacteria. These are types of eubacteria autotrophic bacteria, chemosynthetic, and heterotrophic bacteria. Autotrophic bacteria include cyanobacteria, they have chlorophyll because and they have unicellular, example nostoc and abena, chemosynthetic oxidized nitrates, nitrites and ammonia, and heterotrophic example, they are decomposers making curd from milk, antibiotic, nitrogen fixing, some are pathogenic, they are they create diseases, cholera, TB, diarrhea, reproduction. Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma, they have no cell wall. They are 
that's why they are smallest living cell organism in this earth and they can survive without oxygen so if someone ask you which one is smallest living cell organism then the answer is mycoplasma the next kingdom after monera we will discuss protista all single cell eukaryotes yes of course you know now that these are eukaryotes single cells in this category chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenonoids slime molds and protozoans chrysophytes diatom and golden algae comes in this criteria dinoflagellates marine and photosynthetic euglenonoids freshwater organism example euglena slime molds protozoans example amoeba in protista and monera there is one difference like in protista they contain well defined nucleus members of protista are primarily aquatic yeah they live in water protista can be divided in three categories there are three types of protist first one protozoa which are animal like protist algae which are plant like protist and slime molds which are fungus like protist so there are three categories of protist plant like which is algae fungus like slime molds and animal like protozoans difference from bacteria yes of course they have nucleus live in watery environment and generally live as individual cells these are uh, the pictures of uh, protist now uh, here i have defined all uh, protist dinoflagellates euglenoids diatom you you can see these are unicellular these are unicellular most multicellular red algae contain chlorophyll red algae and brown algae these are multicellular unicellular or multicellular green algae contain chlorophyll so which which is the example of algae which contain chlorophyll that is green algae if you look at a drop of pond water under a microscope all the little creatures you see swimming around are protist example clay mycomonas all protists have a nucleus and are therefore eukaryotic yes sir. protists are either plant like animal like or fungus like as i have already discussed is plant like you can see here again i am going to repeat this plant like protist algae fungus like algae fungus like protist slime molds and animal like protozoans plant like protist are autotrophs they contain chloroplast and make their own food animal like and fungus like protist are heterotrophs protozoans are animal like protozoans grouped according to how they move amoebae live in water or moist spaces they have a cell membrane but no cell wall yes amoeba have no cell wall only cell membrane is present this is the picture of amoeba kingdom fungi they are eukaryotes they cell wall made of chitin a carbohydrate mostly multicellular uh, as i have already discussed that in fungi there is they are multicellular but only one example which is unicellular that is yeast heterotrophs decomposers some parasites body made is made of filaments called hyphae reproducing using spores hyphae i'll i'll give you example in other some other slide so uh i'm going to repeat this they are eukaryotes cell wall made of chitin they are mostly multicellular but there is one example which is unicellular fungi that is yeast body body made is uh, made of filaments called hyphae hyphae the vegetative bodies of mostly fungi constructed of tiny filaments you can see these are hyphae and mycelium an interwoven mat of hyphae this is mycelia so this is the structure of fungi these all are pictures of fungi so this is hyphae and this is mycelium the characteristics of fungi some are edible while others are poisonous these are edible give me one example of edible fungi yes mushroom reproduction in fungi asexual reproduction by oospores ascospores and basidiospores sexual reproduction steps plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis in zygote result in haploid spores dicaryon kingdom fungi there are four classes 
first one is phycomycetes second one is ascomycetes third one is basidiomycetes and fourth one is deuteromycetes now i'm giving you example of one by one classes phycomycetes the example of bread molds you can see uh, these fungus in bread rhizopus uh, class ascomycetes the sac fungi example yeast which is unicellular class basidiomycetes the club fungi example mushroom puff balls bracket fungi rust class deuteromycetes the fungi imperfect why we call deuteromycetes the fungi imperfect i'll give you the reason so again i'm going to repeat this class phycomycetes bread molds example rhizopus ascomycetes example yeast the sac fungi basidiomycetes the club fungi mushroom and deuteromycetes the fungi imperfect so again you can revise it basidiomycetes club fungi zygomycota bread molds ascomycetes sac fungi lichen symbiosis between algae and fungi now we will discuss first class phycomycetes now you can see as i already uh, described bread mold a fungi example of phycomycetes characteristics of phycomycetes fungi class member of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitat and on decaying woods in moist and damp places or is obligate parasites on plants asexual reproduction is by zoospores example bread mold albugo this is the picture of basidiomycetes mushrooms club like fungi or basidiomycetes fungi basidiomycetes these are called clump fungi and examples of basidiomycetes are mushroom toads tools bracket and shelf fungi puff balls stinkhorns rust and smuts use of basidiomycetes some are used as food yes of course we use mushrooms in our home others damage crops rust and smuts ascomycetes which is called as cup fungi you can see the structure of ascomycetes they look like a cup ascomycetes fungi these are the picture of uh, cup fungi ascomycetes they are they have cup shape and orange peel color yeast in ascomycetes fungus this is example of yeast structure of yeast characteristics of class ascomycetes commonly known as sac fungi the ascomycetes are unicellular the asexual spores are conidia produce exogenously on the special mycelium called conidiophores sexual spores are called ascol spores which are produced endogenously in sac like singular ascus deuteromycetes commonly known as imperfect fungi because only the asexual or vegetative phase of these fungi are known there is no sexual reproduction in deuteromycetes that's why they are called imperfect fungi deuteromycetes resemble exo ascomycetes but their reproductive cycle has never been observed difference from ascomycetes because there is a definite lack of sexual reproduction which is why they are called imperfect fungi plantae and animalia i will discuss in some other video thank you guys if you like my video then please uh, send me an email to elearnsubjects@gmail.com and if you want to take online classes for me please send an email to elearnsubjects@gmail.com charges are very less than your city and i can teach us and uk students also you can also send your particular requirement thank you guys